guys? So I just want to make a quick video. It, maybe it's because I just woke up from working a 12 hour shift. Like I work seven to seven and then I was napping and then I go to Taco Bell to get some food and I feel like everybody's pissed off because they have to work on New Year's Day or something like. I worked last night, I didn't get to do shit. I don't know, it's kind of irritating. I just figure, it's like, I've been waiting in line for probably 15 to 20 minutes for a bean burrito and a apple empanada. What the? Oh my God, this lady is wearing my food. All right, I have your bean burrito with nacho cheese and sour cream, your nacho crust with a like chocolate. Warheads, sorry. She has that one and she has that one. She's like, they're so sour. So anyways, that's where we started, was with that, you guys. And that was cool. And then, for Christmas, I, me and Destiny wanted to get something that we can both enjoy together. So we went and we got um, this drone. It's by Sharper Image. And so we're kind of just working our way up. So after this one, we're going to get a DG, um, a Phantom. Probably a 4K, to be honest. That's what we're saving for. So... This is the one we got. It's legit. I'm going to say, though, how clear that picture looks there is not how clear it's going to look. And there. Just saying. But it does look good, though. I mean, you can tell everything you're videoing. It just doesn't look that great. So this one has auto landing, auto takeoff, auto hover, 360-degree stunt rolls, which is super easy with this thing. You just uh, push a button and push the t over button, and it, it'll do a, um, a roll. Um auto orientation and three speed control where you can go um, how fast you want to go but honestly the faster you go the quicker it kills the battery it's just not worth it I always keep it on low and so I put it back in the box so I can do a proper unboxing for you guys but honestly I've flown this already and I'm going to show some video footage in here at the end of that um, of us flying it so you can see the quality kind of like I said it's not that great this drone only cost us 120 130 bucks maybe and I actually looked online which was <coughs> sorry guys still sick but I looked online and you could get this way cheaper I seen this for like 90 bucks but then in other places I've seen it for 150 so I kind of got caught in the middle somewhere but it is what it is you know that's what happens when you order things online and sometimes you get them cheaper Sometimes you don't. It just depends. Um, <clears throat> you could probably, if you shop around, get yours cheaper. But to be honest, this drone's actually pretty cool, man. Like for what it is, if you're like me and you're, you actually talk to somebody, and they're like, "Hey, work your way up. Don't go buy the most expensive one. Crash it and break it." You know, because at first they are hard to fly if you've never flown one. So I'm gonna take this out of the box for you to show you what it comes with. Like I said, I've half flown this, but I wanted to do this right for you guys, so you know what you get. <coughs> so it comes with the instruction manual, which I actually read this. I normally don't read instruction manuals, but I did for that. Um, the drone itself, and there's a cage on here you can take off. It's got two screws each side. Everything's orientated, so um, it's like propeller two, propeller one, propeller two, propeller two, propeller one, propeller one. Each one of these are marked, and each one of these, each side of this is marked. And you have to get it right, because I got the blade on wrong once, or and uh, it didn't want to fly. So this is your camera, and it is adjustable. I always kind of have it in the middle. <coughs> The lights. The sure, white lights mean front. The red lights mean back. That's right. Yep. And it auto orientates, but it's still nice to have that feature. Okay. And then. Can I show them this? Sure. It is a controller here. This is up, down. Wait, um, this is high, low, up, down, side, side. She's cute, I know. <laughs> on, off, 
on up. Okay, now it off. Let's do it in here. Okay. Let's see. So one of the big things is here is your trim. When you get it up, you want to kind of hover it about five feet and get it to trim to where it just hovers there. Then auto take off and auto land. I never really use that though. And then audio orientation, which I never use either. And this is your high, low, your low, medium, high. You're on. To get it to go, you go forward and then back, and that pairs it with the drone. And if you hold down at the same time, both corners, um, left and right, it will reset the gyro system in the drone. That's a good one to know, just in case you hit something. <coughs> is Customer this? service, probably a representative in China. Then it does come with extra blades mm -hmm. and an extra pack of screws, which is important because you will lose them. Then a charger. Charging cable. And then last but not least, the phone mount. And the phone mount, it comes with the little screw kind of sticking out a little bit. And you just slide it on here. It's super easy. This is like one of my favorite screwdrivers. I use it for everything. I got it with like a phone repair kit or something on eBay. And you just tighten it down and that's it. It's super easy. And then it takes six uh, AA batteries in the back here, which I've already put some in there. Okay, so and then it takes six AA batteries, and yeah, it's actually a pretty good drone, guys. So actually, the real reason why we wanted to make this video was more just to talk to you, give you something to show you, and kind of show off the drone. It's really cool. It's fun to fly. If you've never flown a drone, you think it's for kids, check one out. You'll lose your mind on how much fun they are, especially one like this that goes really far and really high and lets you video basically you fly it through your phone so you know it's not like you have to look at the phone in the sky because that is hard to do sometimes to sit there and try to keep your head up staring at the drone in the sky you could fly this one strictly through your phone which I've done like not even looking at it just know where you're flying it and know what <coughs> kind of like um, if you know the area you're flying in, you can just use those as landmarks and you could just fly it straight through the phone. You don't even need to look at. The one thing I wish this had that I know that the other really high-end drones have is they have an uh, auto home function. That's the only thing this one's missing, really. It does almost everything except for the auto home function. I really wish it had that because when the battery is dying, basically you need to know in your head, like, hey, this thing lasts this amount of time let's start bringing it home because it will just land when the battery dies by itself and it won't come home on an expensive one the battery starts to die this thing will come home by itself so and I know you can buy extra batteries for it but look we're just using it more as a trainer drone that's truthfully what it's for so we're not I'm not gonna go buy like a bunch of batteries for it and accessories because it really is just a trainer drone um, we don't want to buy a super expensive one and wreck it because I've never flown a drone before. So that's why we have this one. And so I'll cut some video in there showing you guys um, how it is, how it works. And like I said, you go forward, backward, it pairs the lights. Now if we reset the gyro, you push down, you see the lights flashing. Now they're reset. This camera is being funky. Okay. If I just hit this right now, it wouldn't be like the little one. This thing would fly up and hover. It would just sit there and hover. It does have good for what it costs and what it is. I mean, it will sit there and just hover in video. And you don't have to touch the controller. I flew it in moderate wind, and it seemed like it wanted to kind of veer off. But the truth is, it's really light, and it has to be to not be registered. It's hot. Crazy goose. Like, why are the lights on? Um, so, that's why I think, like, the 
It even said on the package, the reason why you don't have to register this thing is because of the weight. So if they made it any heavier, you would have to register it with the FFA. Um, but it clearly says right there, no FFA, FFA requirements, registration requirements. So there's some stuff on it. Long lasting, yeah, I don't know about that, but... Um, it's a super good trainer guys so and then another reason why I just want to talk to you is me and destiny are super this year getting down into YouTube and she's super excited about it and so am I it's something that we've always wanted to do yes. it's you know like you hear her when I was four, I really wanted to make things. it's like literally we do it because we really enjoy it and it's something that she really enjoys to do and me too so we're gonna do a lot more videos together and do it um, right now, we have a guy coming to set up our, take care of our internet problem soon. Um, I've mentioned that before. That's our biggest r slowdown right now, why videos are so slow, is because of the internet. It's not because lack of motivation, because me and Destiny, like, we want to make videos all day if we could. And that's, like, the truth. Seriously, she's crazy about it, like, and so am I. So, guys, just stick with us, and, um... We really uh, appreciate every single one of you who watch the videos. It means a lot to me and Destiny. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Oh, you're so cute. I know. And like and share and stick with us because lots of cool stuff to come. YouTube is going to be a huge part of our lives now. And we are going to put a lot of energy into it this year, 2017. I hope everyone had a good Christmas and a good New Year. And... We will see you in the next video very soon. Thank you guys for watching.